The sky at E.P. Tom Sawyer State Park is going to be filled with remote controlled airplanes this weekend. Keith Kaiser takes us to the Wings for Kids Charity RC Show. Keith? Yeah, a few of the uh, River City Radio controllers came out with their planes this morning. We gave a little demonstration. Look how cool and calm they are. Look at these guys. Nothing. They don't even flinch. Hey! Hey! They don't even flinch. They don't even flinch. Uh, when we come back, we'll uh, see some of the planes and maybe take to the skies here in the dark. We'll have that coming up on WDRB Mornings. Soaring to new heights, it is the 20th anniversary for the Wings for Kids Charity RC Show in Louisville. Keith Geiser is learning about the event happening this weekend. He's out there with his friends. Good morning, sir. <laughs> Yes, I do like to uh, visit these guys here. Uh, of course, when the sun pops up this weekend, it's going to be a gorgeous show, and you got to be a part of it. Some of the planes here this morning, and then one right here, it's going to do some flips and flops, and of course, that guy's at the helm right there, Grayson Elmer. Uh, Grayson, take this take this out there. I want to I see it flying. I'm going to talk to Tim Evans over here. Some of the other fellas are just hiding over in the corner. Carol, get in the scene, fellas. <laughs> the guy, the, the, it's, all about, it's all about camaraderie. It's all about getting the guys together. Uh, Oh, River absolutely. City Radio Controllers. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's just a community of guys that yeah. love to fly planes. Uh, this weekend yeah. is going to be the big event. Uh -huh. It's Wings for Kids. Uh, we have all different types of planes yeah. flying. Uh, we got aerobatic planes. We got jets. We got World <laughs> War One, World War Two. Uh, there's all kinds of things for the kids yeah. to 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 use. You know, we're going to have bouncy houses, mm -hmm. and we have food out here, so you can get. You know, anything, hamburger, hot dogs, uh, uh, you get, anything you want to eat, you drink, will, we've got it. You'll stay busy and you will be entertained. Oh, there's Grayson right now yeah. showing off a little yeah, bit. a little bit. A little bit. But uh, this, this event going on more than 20 years uh, here at E.P. Tom Sawyer Park, and it's benefiting Norton Children's Hospital and their, their air transport team. Yeah, we've, we've been raising money for them for about the last... 13, 14 years yeah. now, and we're really excited about our relationship uh, because we've we've been able to buy equipment for them that they really, really need for their transportation group, which includes their airplane, their helicopter, yeah. and the ambulances. Come and be a part of it. It's happening tomorrow and Sunday here at E.P. Tom Sawyer Park. Uh, many different planes taken to the skies, and of course, uh, people like Grayson there uh, showing off his skills. This is in the dark, everybody. This is in the dark, and he's got to figure out where the ground is and the sky is and of course making it making it do that Candace Sterling it's amazing very cool that is really I like seeing neat. those planes over at Sawyer Park I've always wanted to fly one but it's the landing that's the problem man I'd hate to crash land one of those things and they have quite the grass landing strip over there like I yeah. sometimes we'll walk the long trail and walk along and watch the guys land in the plane sometimes they fly kind of low at that point yeah. they're really impressive cool to see them fly thank you Keith some awesome remote controlled airplanes are going to fly around Louisville this weekend Keith Kaiser is telling us about the wings for kids charity RC show Keith <laughs> And it's about raising money for Norton Children's Hospital, their air transport team. Got a little unit right here. We're going to see what uh, goes into that. And they're going to reach the $500,000 mark of raising money for Norton Children's Hospital, all with planes like this one. We'll uh, tell you about that coming up on WDRB Mornings. It's just for kids. Uh, that's what it's all about this weekend. Wings for Kids here at E.P. Tom Sawyer Park. It's uh, more than 20 years of doing this show, and of course it's benefiting uh, Norton Children's Hospital, and specifically the air transport team. Penny Crady's here. There's Glenn Rice over there. And, uh, and while we talk, Glenn, uh, bring that unit out right here. Now, the, uh, the, the events like this are very special to you guys. I mean, they, they help out a lot in, in raising money for units like this. Absolutely. Every... Um dollar that is raised actually goes back into uh, Just for Kids Transport, mm -hmm. helps us care for the children in our mm -hmm. community, um, yep. and give them the best quality care that they deserve. Yep. And, uh, and really, on like uh, I think this year is like $500,000, a half a million dollars have been raised over d with this event. And then so many different specific units that you guys have purchased uh, with that money, right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, Great, great fundraising, great collaborative work. Um, mm -hmm. We were able to purchase monitors, um, isolates. Yeah. Um, so just continuing the great quality of care mm -hmm. and partnership. 
And just for coming out, paying your admission, $5 a person or $10 a carload, coming on out here to uh, E.P. Thompsonia Park tomorrow and Sunday, and you get to see uh, the static displays like that. Glenn, you can put it away now. And then, of course, airplanes in the sky. Oh, he's flying right through here. Uh, John's, uh, John's flying his plane. Uh, but it's just an um, amazing event, 35-plus uh, planes taken to the skies, uh, courtesy of River City Radio Controllers. Candace Sterling, they're just flying everywhere. Duck, stay down! Oh, I love that plane with the lights. Beautiful. That's really cool. What a neat scene. As the sun is starting to come up. I want to go check that out. It's impressive the way they fly those planes. Yes, I'm sure it's a lot harder than it looks. Yes, ma'am. An air show happening this weekend will raise money to help local children. Keith Kaiser is getting a look at the Wings for Kids RC air show and requesting permission to buzz the tower, Keith. Yeah, might have to do that with a jet. Nicholas is flying right now. Oh, you are you going this way, I'm Nicholas? That going that way. Here you go, Pete. Follow along. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk about some of these airplanes you're going to see here at Wings for Kids Saturday and Sunday, especially this jet too. Uh, amazing. Coming up on WD Every Morning. This is pretty neat. You can see all kinds of remote controlled airplanes this weekend in Louisville. Keith Kaiser is learning about the Wings for Kids Charity RC Air Show. Keith. Yeah, I hope you can hear me over the, the planes right now. i got a couple of 3D planes up right now. John Boyko right here, he's been the announcer for about 20 years. Yeah, this is my 20th consecutive year coming down here doing the, uh, doing the air show. I started out as a pilot uh -huh. uh, 20 years ago. A friend of mine invited me down yeah. and because of my own uh, life experiences, yeah. I was like, man, this is really cool to be able to give back yeah. to the Children's Hospital uh -huh. uh, down here in Louisville. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, uh -huh. and as a kid, I got to go through. I went, my parents and I went through um, being in the hospital right. for, for about, about a month. Yeah. Uh, I was a very sick kid, so for me to be able to come down here and give back, to be a part of something that's bigger than us, yeah. it's really a cool thing to go do. Yeah, Wings for Kids, you're going to expect some stuff like this. Uh, you got Grayson and John flying these planes right now. 3D planes, they're another level. Oh, yeah, you know, and, and if you notice, it's the young kids that are doing this, the, the 3D airplanes because their their hands are moving constantly. Yeah. They're, 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 they're high energy guys. It's a great air show uh, performers because we can get the crowd enthused about it yeah. and they can get excited about it. We egg them on to see how low they can go. <laughs> nice. um, and we always remind them you, you can only tie the lowest flight, <laughs> you cannot get any lower than zero altitude. You got it. And of course, you can see this show. It's happening tomorrow and Sunday here at EP Tom Sawyer Park. More than 20 years of doing this show. And of course, River City Radio Controllers raising money for Norton Children's hospital and their air transport team and uh, this year they're going to surpass a half a million dollars of, uh, of money raised going toward uh, that organization but Candace and Sterling uh, these fascinate me I mean how much control they have that yeah. is impressive I take my dog for a walk along that tree line over there and you just yeah. get to see the whole thing it's really cool what those guys can do but they're normally not flying uh, around like that, are they? Oh, sometimes. They fly low like that when you're at the park? Um, every once in a while. Most of the time I'll see them just coming in and landing, gotcha. taking off. But if you take the walk on the back on the back 40 over yeah. there at Sawyer Park, you get to see them. I've seen them. Very cool. Well, don't miss out on a great air show raising money to help young people in our community. Keith Kaiser checks out all of the fun at Wings for Kids. Those planes are bigger than I expected them to be, Keith. It's, it's amazing. There's one over there, like a 12-foot wingspan. We'll see that in the air in just a little bit. But right now, John, let it rip. Right now, Wings for Kids, a charity event happening to tomorrow and Sunday. A radio city, River City Radio Controllers making it happen. When we uh, come back, we'll uh, see some of these planes and helicopters in the air coming up on WDRB Mornings. Taking to the skies right now, John Stewart flying a, a 3D plane right there, all electric uh, also. And then uh, in the foreground there, you're going to see a helicopter taking off, and Ethan's flying that one. And uh, we're talking about uh, River City Radio Controllers putting on wings for kids. This is uh, more than 20 years of doing this. Tim Evans, it's his, uh, this is just great stuff. Always entertaining uh, when everybody comes out here over the weekend. Yeah, our hope is that there's never a dull moment. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of activities going on this weekend, a lot of new planes. Uh, uh, 
lot of uh, uh, a lot of the same types of planes yeah. that you've seen in the past, but yeah. we've got a few surprises this uh -oh. year. Uh, I'm going to tell you one of the surprises. We got an Iron Man that's going to fly in. Iron Man's going to fly in. Fly, Iron Man's coming this year, but we got another one that's a big going to be a big surprise. Yeah. And and you know, we're talking about these 3D planes. I mean, these are these are. But I think a lot of people get a kick out of the Warbirds too. You know, the replicas that are real, authentic planes. Yeah, they they. They, you know, those planes are a lot of times pretty close to full scale, yeah. and they fly that way too. So they're a little bit more difficult to actually fly because uh -huh. they fly in a scale like manner. Yeah. And a lot of them were, you know, built to not just train, but to deliver ordnance to a target. Right. And they weren't built to fly, they were sure. built to deliver. Sure. So. And of course, you're going to hear history lessons because the announcers, you know, John Boyko and uh, Tim Evans, kind of taking everybody through the day. And uh, there won't be a moment where you're not looking to the skies and enjoying yourself and giving back to Wings for Kids. It's uh, to benefit Norton Children's Hospital. And uh, this year, they're going to surpass $500,000, a half a million dollars raised for their air transport team. And of course, you're going to be entertained like this. Ethan, let's see if you can do it. Can upside down and as close to the ground as possible. Candace Sterling, a helicopter shouldn't be able to do this. No. No, but that's really neat. Awesome. It's going to be a fun air show. Thanks, Keith. Sure is. Remote controlled airplanes will soar through the skies this morning and you could see even more of them this weekend. Keith Kaiser is telling us more about the Wings for Kids Charity RC Show. Take it away, Keith. More than 20 years of this event and of course it's a River City Radio Controllers making this happen. Stations, everybody! Stations! Oh, we're going to get these uh, guys in the air and we're going to tell you about how it benefits Norton Children's Hospital coming up on WDRV Mornings. Some awesome remote controlled airplanes are going to be on display this weekend in East Louisville. It is for the annual Wayne Fort Kids Air Show. All right, Keith Kaiser checking in. Runway one, two, you are cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Very good. You might want to talk to these guys. They're uh, they're they're taking off very soon. And uh, we're talking about the Warbirds. They're a part of the uh, the show. River City Radio Controllers is the, is the group that uh, come out here and fly a lot. And of course, they're giving back the admission coming into the event uh, Saturday and Sunday. Giving back to Norton Children's Hospital, especially the, uh, the air transport team. Penny Crady right here brought out your uh, Just for Kids unit, and uh, and so all the parts and pieces that go into something like this to, to help save lives, it takes money, and of course, these guys raising money has is, is got to be worthwhile. Oh, yes. Um, every every dollar raised actually helps um, the 2000, over 2,900 patients we transported last year, gives them the best quality of care. Yeah. We're able to bring our ICU to any facility yeah. in the Commonwealth. And uh, Glenn's demonstrating right here. You know, uh, the unit on here was uh, help, the money used on this was uh, raised by uh, Wings for Kids in the, in the, uh, in the group here. Correct. Yeah. Absolutely. The monitor, the isolate, all mm -hmm. was raised by this great group yeah. of gentlemen yeah. who fly on these wonderful planes. And I think uh, this year they're going to surpass a half a million dollars raised for Norton Children's Hospital and the air transport team. And, uh, and it's just... When they fly through the air, you get to watch it. Saturday, Sunday here at EP Tom Sawyer Park, many different kinds of planes. You got the uh, scale planes, which are like World War II planes, and then you've got uh, some some advanced 3D planes and a B3 bomber, I believe. Are you taking off right now, Nicholas? Their B3 bomber on the uh, runway. Check this out. But Candace and Sterling, it's always a wonderful event and a great group of guys who love flying, and uh, and you can see it out here this weekend. That bomber, isn't that, is that cool? so cool. Yeah. I like the old Warbirds, the World War II airplanes. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. The, the River City Radio Controllers are celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Wings for Kids Air Show. It's happening this weekend. Going to be a great time. Keith Kaiser is checking out some of the remote-controlled planes that will be there. Keith. Stand clear. Start your engine. Yeah, when uh, we come back, we'll have some uh, planes in the air. We're going to tell you about this very special event happening on Saturday, Sunday for Wings for Kids. Coming up on WDRB Mornings. Yeah, yeah, we're clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Jim, you have the runway. There you go. 
That's my best uh, air traffic controller voice right there. Uh, we're talking about Wings for Kids, a charity event happening on Saturday, Sunday here at E.P. Tom Sawyer Park. River City Radio Controllers came out to show us their, some of their skills and give you a little taste of what's going to happen uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Tim Evans, it's got to be a joy to get out here. A beautiful day. Take to the skies it, with the RC uh, planes. It's been such a long wait this spring <laughs> with all the cold air and yeah. the rain. Yeah, we've all been waiting yeah. for this weather and it's going to be perfect this weekend. It's going to be, be great. 35 plus planes I think are going to be in the air. You got the Warbirds up right now and then what else should we expect for the show? Oh, we're going to have 3D planes and the 3D helicopters. Mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, some World War I planes and World War II. We're also going to have some uh, some real different types of aerobatic mm -hmm. stuff. We've got some scale aerobatic planes that are going to okay. fly as well as the 3D yeah. guys. So there's, a, there's just a plethora of different yeah. you know events that you're going to see. And of course you're raising money for Norton Children's Hospital You've been doing this for uh, 20 plus years, and uh, you you reached the mark. Half a million dollars you're going to raise uh, in the culmination of all these events. Yeah, this is this is a real milestone for us. We, we are we are officially the the largest RC charitable flying club in the United States, and That's amazing. we're we're really proud of that. Yeah. And but you know. Uh, it's all about giving back to the community. Right. We, we rent this side of the park yeah. and we wanted to do something 20 years ago yeah. to give back to the yeah. community and look what it's turned into. It's uh, a great event and thousands of people will be here and you should be too. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday, E.P. Tom Sawyer Park, Wings for Kids. Candace and Sterling, uh, you stay here all day and just watch the planes fly. It's going to be a great yeah, weekend to watch the planes fly. With sunscreen. That's right. Lots of sunscreen. Jude Redfield can attest to that. It's going to get hot. It's going to be sunny. A really cool air show this weekend. It's going to raise money to help local children. Keith Kaiser gives us a look at the Wings for Kids RC Air Show. Keith, requesting permission to buzz the tower. Oh, you can do that. You can do that on this one. Uh, but this won't be buzzing. This will be hanging on a prop, maybe flipping and flopping. 3D planes. Get out there, Grayson. John, take the planes out. When we come back, uh, you'll be surprised what these planes can do. And the helicopter coming up on WDRB Mornings. You can see all kinds of remote controlled airplanes in the sky this weekend in Louisville. Keith Kaiser is learning about the Wings for Kids Charity RC Air Show. Are they letting you fly, Keith? Yeah, they gave me this controller, which is, uh, they said it's, it's latest technology, it's invisible, and you just move your thumbs around and it flies a plane. Uh, I don't believe them, though. I don't believe them. Though. There's uh, Grayson right there, there's Ethan, and there's John. They're, on, they're two on, uh, he's on the helicopter, he's on a plane, and then Grayson Elmer is on a plane also. 3D aircraft, they're going to take over the skies during the Wings for Kids air show happening tomorrow and Sunday. It's just a wonderful event. River City Radio Controller putting this on, raising money for Norton Children's Hospital, and their air transport team, but Grayson Elmer, I mean, how old are you now? How old are you? I'm 12 years old. 12, you said start flying like when you are four years old. Uh, yeah. uh, are you doing the one that's upside down over there? Uh, oh yeah, that's coming this way? The one with the green on? And so, what does it take to fly something like this? Of course, this is an unconventional way of flying. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of time uh, actually flying one. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I've been flying for about eight to nine years. Um, and, and you got sponsored, AJ Aircraft. I mean, you could take this to the next level, huh? Yeah. Um, we're, me and my dad are very lucky to uh, be sponsored by AJ Aircraft yeah. and other companies. Uh, Tim Jeske and Andrew Jeske. Uh, they're the ones who kind of like mainly run it. Yep. And so are you competitions, you doing some of those around around the world, around the country? We very briefly done competitions yep. like online yep. and uh, like on the simulator. Yep. Uh, but now just doing demonstrations like Wings for Kids here. Look at this. They're just hanging out there. They're, they're stuck in space. It seems, and of course the helicopter is amazing too. Be a part of Wings for Kids. Give back to uh, this great organization. Uh, Norton Children's Hospital, Saturday, Sunday. Come out and be, uh, be a part of it. 35 plus planes all flying throughout the day, different kinds of aircraft. Now, Grayson said I can take over. So just let me the uh, controller there, Grayson, and I'll just uh, I'll keep it hanging in the air. Just uh, give me the, just the, the hand it over and I'll, I'll take over. Just right, it's an easy transition. I'll, I'll do the left joystick, you just still do the right one. Okay, there we go, all right, I'm getting, he's not gonna let go of it. I, I, we had it planned out that I was going to fly it, but uh, he, I don't think he's confident in my skills. 
Just watch and learn. Hey, you build it, you can fly it and crash it. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and That's put it the, back together. And put it back together. That's the deal. Don't miss out on a great air show. It's raising money to help young people in our community. Keith Kaiser's checking out all the fun at the Wings for Kids show. Wings for Kids happening this weekend, and you can see it. When we come back, we'll give you an example of what you might see in the skies here at EP Tom Sawyer Park coming up on WDRB Mornings. like this you got to have an announcer a guy who knows a little bit about these planes John Boyko right here and you've been doing it for 20 years or so yeah I've been yeah. announcing down here for 20 years yeah. I've been flying model airplanes for 50 years yeah um, you know they, they found out that not only was I a good, good pilot but because of the scale modeling that I do I know the history of a lot of the yeah. airplanes like what's flying right yeah. now the warbirds and they said hey do you want to announce and I'm like uh, okay, sure. and, and next thing you know, I've actually transitioned from being a pilot yeah. to actually doing more yeah. announcing at this point. Yeah, and you're talking for maybe six hours or so, all just keep the show going. And then in the sky right now, look at a couple of biplanes, maybe a B-3 bomber up there too. But there's so many different kinds of planes that we see. You know, and that's, that's one of the great things about this particular air show. When you go to other events, we call them events, they'll have like one type of airplane. Like yeah. they're all warbirds or yeah. they're all 3D airplanes. We do the 3D airplanes, the scale warbirds, kill, scale civilian airplanes, mm -hmm. helicopters. We have it all. It is an all-inclusive air show <laughs> with acts, with a supposed yeah. script. Yeah. And it's <laughs> highly entertaining, a lot of fun for everybody to come out and, and, and to watch it. Happening tomorrow on Sunday here at E.P. Tom Sawyer Park. you got to be a part of it and give back to Norton Children's Hospital. The money raised going to the air transport team. And uh, this year, going to surpass a half a million dollars raised for that organization. And it's all because of the, the enthusiasm of the uh, River City Radio Controllers. Check out these planes. That is very cool. The fighter jet. Mm, Love the bomber, that. the warbirds, that they're all cool. cool to me, yeah.